Mathematics is a critical part of our future. The world is progressing at a rapid rate and maths will play an important part in this. How we use it will optimise our future if we take the opportunities now. It is the key to a smarter, safer and convenient lifestyle. From hospitals to construction, retail and security, the areas are limitless. As society progresses and the population grows, there is no doubt that the amount of data we produce will rapidly increase. Big data is extremely large sets of data that are analysed to reveal patterns and trends every time we use the internet, make a purchase, use a bank, or simply use a mobile phone or write an email. Mathematics is used at all stages of this. More governments and businesses are realising the importance of big data. The potential for forecasting is enormous. The biggest challenge for mathematicians in the future will be the ability to analyse ever-increasing data from more sources in real time to interpret effective and correct outcomes. Today, over half of all people live in urban areas. The world population is growing and now is the time to optimise our cities for a sustainable, efficient future. Cities are built on numbers. Maths is everywhere in cities around the world. Maths can help create efficient mega cities that are fit for purpose. Using mathematical forecasting, we can predict the needs of our cities. Future cities present challenges and opportunities and mathematical understanding will allow us to make rational choices and create sustainable, creative, prosperous cities. But as cities get bigger, so will the traffic jams. So what if I told you that maths could end traffic jams? Using mathematical modelling, it seems that we can. Driverless cars are seen to be the future of transport. Mathematical models tell us information about the roads and can calculate the safest and most efficient ways for driverless cars to travel cooperatively and consistently with each other, improving traffic flow. Driverless cars drive differently to people. People don't keep to speed limits and accelerate, then brake moments later. Maths will play an important part in a world with only driverless cars on the roads. By applying mathematical techniques and modelling, we could optimise how this will operate most efficiently. This has only touched on a few areas on how maths will affect our future. The list is endless, but the real key is us. Are we future generations ready to optimise our mathematical future? Life in the future will be run by high-powered maths. So if we don't change the way we teach maths in Australia, the future of maths will not reach its potential. We need to change the mindset of everyone involved in maths education. We are presented with a huge challenge of inspiring the next generation. The importance of quality, relevant mathematics education from primary school to university cannot be underestimated. Today's students will be tomorrow's graduates and innovators. We need to encourage and inspire students to love maths so they can be mathematical innovators of the 21st century. We are on the verge of some big changes in maths and the way students are taught should reflect this. We should learn how to use software, build mathematical models, use critical thinking, interpretation, analysing skills and STEM skills. We need to make the connection between learning maths and solving the problems of the real world. Studies have indicated that Australian students are falling behind other countries in mathematics. Let's change this. Kids should value maths. We need to inspire the mathematical leaders of the next generation. Otherwise, mathematics will not deliver its benefits to a 21st century Australia. Because maths isn't just the future, it's our future. <laughs>